Good morning and welcome to my very first day here in Malang. I don't really have anything planned for today. Um, I was told about a really good place to find some Macau, so I'm about to head there. And other than that, I don't really have any plans. I do want to buy a few things for the hikes, but I'm just going to walk around the city. The sun's already out and shining very bright. You walk into a side street and immediately it's peace. No more chaos, no more bustling and hustling from the city, just quiet. I just met the cutest little kids. Everybody was waving and wanted high fives. Obviously, I'm not gonna film them because they're kids, but so cute. This shop is literally in someone's house. I got the goods. Only 15k for a bakpao and the water. That's a steal. I'm wrapped in like a palm leaf. Also, I'm doing this walking. Oh, that thing is massive, but it looks really good. Oh, I cannot wait to dig in. These streets are so cute. So I'm gonna have to find a place to dig in because the hostel is very crowded and I just wanna sit somewhere by myself for a little bit and enjoy this. So I might try to find a park or something. <laughs> to McDonald's because it's the only place where you can sit. I wanted to try and eat it in the park but one it's very crowded and busy because I think there's like a kids event going on and two I got yelled at trying to eat so I don't think they're allowed. And I know it's not customary to eat something else at McDonald's but I ordered the coke so this thing is massive. is very fluffy. Once again, still not sure if you can eat the paper, just like in Singapore. It's very fluffy. I was told it's homemade and I went for the beef. He did steam it, so I assume it's ready to eat. I paid it back to the hostel, but I made a bit of a mistake. So if I'm doing a little bit more research and reading more reviews, there are two ways that you can order for fun. You can either order it steamed and then it's ready to eat, or you can take it with you raw. And that way you can steam it at home and then it's fresh and warm when you want to eat it. Now this is totally my fault, like that's on me, but I wasn't aware that there are two options. I should have made sure that I got one that was ready to eat. I wasn't aware there were two options. And here I am talking about how good it tastes, which it did, but I guess because it still tastes good raw, that's saying something. Um, would highly recommend, and I might go back tomorrow and make sure that I don't get a raw one. But yeah, I feel very stupid. I can only imagine how good it would have tasted though, if it wasn't raw. Apparently something went wrong with my hostel world looking. I booked this place until the 10th and I'm doing the tour the 9th at 11.45 so I wanted the night from 9 to the 10th of October because I wanted the place to sleep before midnight. Now I'm not entirely sure how it happened but it just opened up the cancellation for me and I've now cancelled the extra night which was very very fine of them to do because technically the free cancellation time had run out. So yeah mistakes happen but luckily this one was an easy fix. But this might be one of the cutest houses I've ever stayed at. So many green, they've got beds where you can just lay down, like right here. And then look at this mural. How cool is this? There's a boat and everything. And the houses. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's like 3D. It's really cool. So I've spent pretty much the entire afternoon here at the hostel. Uh, I've been reading my book, which is really nice. And for the rest of the day, I don't really have anything planned. I'm about to order some food. And yeah, that's pretty much the day for today. There are a few things that I want to check out tomorrow. And I still need to do my grocery shopping. So, sorry, they're doing construction. I still need to do some grocery shopping for the tour. 
uh, but I'm gonna make a list for about all the things that I need. I dropped off my laundry yesterday, so that should be done today. And yeah, that's pretty much today. I also stood on someone's balcony, so sorry.